Hello everyone, X-Wall Kill Bethelite here. And Alex Jones was sued for defamation and that lawsuit was successful and that his belief structure involved saying that people were staging things, right? And for his belief structure to be broadcast to a large audience, he has got to be essentially using some form of defamation and saying that people are staging the deaths of their children and things of that sort. The conspiracy. Somebody's got to be the conspirator, right? Well, he was taking the court and taking the court successfully, right? And in the last video, I said that sets precedent. And guess what? I looked on YouTube and saw where someone else was talking about. Someone from like some news station or, or, or some big platform was also saying the same thing that I was saying. That sets precedent, right? A religion or a person's belief does not give them the right to use defamation. To say this person is doing this and that person is doing the other. That is the glue. Defamation is the glue that has held Watchtower, that cult, together. You say, well, all these other cults have fallen apart. You know, all these other cults, if they predict the end of the world, obviously they fall apart. Well, Watchtower, one of the differences with Watchtower is Watchtower, one of the primary things they do is use defamation. They spend a hundred years building up this negative image. They spent a hundred years. It's like you take a ball and over the course of a hundred years, anything gross, you attach to that ball. I'm talking for a hundred years. So by the time the hundred years is over, you got this ball that is just enormous and it's filled with all this disgusting stuff that you stuck to it over the course of 100 years. That's what Watchtower has done. Watchtower has built itself up and then everybody else that don't agree with them, they spent 100 years building them up to be all the negative things you could imagine and they have captured that pretty much under that word called apostate. They have spent a hundred years attaching everything negative you can imagine to this word apostate. They have used it in assembly broadcasts recent. To this day, they're still attaching negativity to that word. Alex Jones didn't do all that. Right, Alex Jones isn't even a part of an organization that's been, spent a hundred years building up a whole bunch of negativity, attaching it to a word, and then putting that word on anybody that tries to leave or tries to speak up about something that's wrong. Right, that's using defamation to the thousandth degree. So people. After this precedent has been set, here's the bar. The bar has been set. And the bar is you can't use defamation even if it's a part of your belief structure. You can't attach it to specific people. Right? So Jehovah's Witnesses should not be able to get up on a platform and read somebody's name off in specific that in their religion means this person is not worthy of your continued friendship. If, you're, if they're in your family, for crying out loud, this person is not worthy to be an active member of your family. Like Jehovah's Witnesses, when they read a person's name off, on a stage that's loaded language. It is loaded. It means a lot to them. 
That's the reason why they do it. You don't see a Catholics every time a person who's a Catholic leaves to become a Baptist. They don't get up on the stage at the Catholic Church and say such and such has just left the Catholic Church. They nobody else does this. Or the people that do, they do it for a reason. Jehovah's Witnesses have spent a hundred years building negative stereotypes, building negative bias. They then attach this negative stereotype or attach this negative bias onto a person who they think isn't towing the line. They think might be speaking up a little bit too much. They think well, they left our church and other people may follow. So let's attach this negative stereotype to people who leave so no one will leave. Let's essentially defame anybody who stands in the way of our church, our religion, our cult. Well, the standard that said that this is illegal, that this is worth millions of dollars if someone does this to you? What does that mean for Jehovah's Witnesses? What does it mean for Watchtower when Watchtower has built their entire cult? That's what's held it together. In my opinion, that's what's held it together using fear, scaring people. If you leave, if you tell your family you're going to leave, if you speak up, these negative stereotypes that we have built up will be attached to you. And once we attach these to you, it's going to do as much damage as any other claim of defamation has ever done. It's going to damage you in your circle of friends. It's going to damage you in your family circle. It's going to damage you oftentimes in your marriage. It's going to damage you at work, right? What if you do business with the people that they're defaming you against? What if you work with them? Well, all of a sudden, now people at work are treating you a certain way. Have anybody ever worked with Jehovah's Witness? When they attach that net, when they call you an apostate, Right. Or, or, or they read your name off on their list of defamation. <laughs> it's just automatic defamation. It's automatic. You know what that means. It's not so vague. No one knows. It's in a thousand wash towers that they've been printing all these years. They've been building this stuff up all these years. It's in broadcasts. They believe. Anything negative that you can think of, you put that on the person whose name they're reading off. This is this is obviously defamation. So what that means is the way to leave Watchtower should be wide open for anybody that wants to leave. People in America should have freedom of religion. And that freedom should not just include the government, it should include the religions themselves. The religions should not be allowed to use defamation to restrict a person's ability to come and go as they please. If a person misses a few church services, they shouldn't be able to automatically slap this negative stigma on them. This 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 defamation is such a major part of the Jehovah's Witness religion, something that is now suable in court for millions of dollars is such a huge part of Jehovah's Witness culture that we are essentially all millionaires right now. Like this, this is such. This is such a everything that they do is attached to defamation. Everything that they do 
is a tech. If you just don't comment at one of their meetings, oh, that, that you know, they, they, they start on you then. Like anything that you do, the threat of defamation is held over your head, right? So what people have to understand is that Jehovah's Witnesses over the course of their entire existence, like over a hundred years, right? They have built themselves up to be the one only true organization. And in order to do that, they have used defamation on anybody else outside of that. So when a person tries to leave that one true only, they, they, they start using that defamation that this person is mentally diseased. Why would you want to leave? the one true organization, you must be crazy, right? Why would you want to leave our cult, right? So what that, what that does is it's like systematic defamation where a person can believe what they want. Alex Jones would not have ever been sued for believing that people were putting on an act and these people were make believing that there were shootings and all kinds of things like that. He, he couldn't believe that all he wanted. He can't announce it. He can't verbally defame people, right? The same is true with Jehovah's Witnesses. Why would they be any different? The, the, this concept that religion is just immune to all laws that they got qualified immunity like police or something like that. They're just immune to any kind of common sense is ridiculous because if you put a no trespassing sign on your yard, Jehovah's Witnesses can't trespass. Laws apply to religions. If you put a, a, a no trespassing sign and then you put Jehovah's Witnesses name specifically under that sign and put it on your door. Are they going to knock on your door? No, they're going to get out of there. As a matter of fact, they'll even do you a favor and put your name on a do not call list and not come bother you anymore because they know laws affect them. The difference is oftentimes the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Oftentimes, Jehovah's Witnesses, people who are victimized by them, don't say nothing. They don't say nothing. Why? Because these are their relatives that are victimizing them. These are past friends that are victimizing them. Right? The lady that sued Alex Jones, probably one of the reasons why she did is she didn't know him. That's not her brother. That's not her father. You know what I mean? She didn't grow up with the guy. They, she didn't have some affection towards him to where she's just going to allow him to defame her however much he wants and it's just okay. That's one of the reasons why the law was used against Alex Jones. One of the reasons why it oftentimes is not used against Jehovah's Witnesses is because we don't want to sue our, our, our relatives. We don't want to sue people who we used to be friends with. We don't want to sue Watchtower because, I don't know, there was something about it a long time ago that we liked. So we just let them use defamation. We let them do it. I think oftentimes that's the difference. That's, that's the difference, right? There's been people who have sued Watchtower because of the, the sexual misconduct, the, the molestations, the things like that. They weren't immune to any of that. It just, it gets to a point where things get bad enough where somebody will finally do something and then the law will be allowed to work in your case, right? We can't be afraid to do that. 
We can't be hiding and, 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 and afraid to say, hey, stop the crazy train. I want off. This religion is insane. I'm leaving. You get up on that platform and read my name off. I'm suing. So not only will I be leaving, I'll be taking a few million dollars with me. That's the way it should be. The whole concept of, of fading, now that we've got the precedent, the bar is set. Here's the bar. You can't defame people. Let's just don't be nice about it and just let them do it. You know what I mean? Let's say, let me give an example. Let's say as a part of their religious belief, they are about to have a judicial hearing uh, with you. Now, oftentimes with people like us, we don't want to have the judicial hearing. Some people might want to. If they do, that's OK, because that's their choice. Right. There's choice with freedom of religion. There's choice. Right. Religions aren't communist regimes forcing everybody to do whatever they want. But the people who do not want any part of any judicial hearing, there should be a cease and desist in the sense of you stop a coming over my house, knocking on my door, talking about judicial anything. And B, you go back there, read my name off of anything. Or I catch you trying to use defamation, trying to badmouth me to everybody, saying a whole bunch of things that's not true to scare everybody away uh, from being around me, just trying to do as much social damage as possible. That's a lawsuit. That should end it all right there. That should end it all right there. There shouldn't be no more calls about, hey, are you turning in field service time this, this month? There shouldn't be any more knock, knock, knock. Well, we hear you're not going to our religious services. It's time for us to try to see if we can find a reason to, to have a judicial hearing today. No, there should be a cease and desist. I'm leaving. You can't pursue me for nothing judiciary. They don't have the right to do that. I'm leaving. Bye. That should be the end of it. Take my name off of anything else. So what 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 could happen? Let's say a person is like, okay, you know, I'm going to leave this cult. And if they try to come after me, I'm just going to be a millionaire. Then. What you could do is write a letter of disassociation. And, and, and make it like, you know, in legal terms. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this, you could say, organization, watchtower, uh, what have you. Uh, and I do not want my name or anything in regards to... Uh, Judiciary hearings, I don't want, <laughs> don't be using my name in judiciary hearings. Don't be reading my name up on stages. Don't do this, don't do, you can put it in writing that you are forewarning them. Videotape it. Hand it to them. Cease and desist. Do not come to my home. Don't read my name. When I say I don't want to be a part of your religion, that don't mean you get to turn around and keep using me as part of it and get up stage and read my name off and all kinds. You don't get, I don't want to be a part of it means no. No means no. <laughs> they don't get to just keep going with it. So let's say I write a disassociation letter and I say I don't want to be a part of this uh, religion. Remove my name from your records. Uh, do not read my name off on any list or use defamation against me in any way. 
and do not pursue me in regards to anything in judiciary, uh, trying to find a reason to then read my name off on a list and use defamation. You put all that in writing. You can record that you're putting it in writing. You can show that you're handing it to them. Then if they do it anyway, that that strengthens. That strengthens your case in court. The woman that sued Alex Jones, I don't know if she did or not, but I doubt she, before suing him, wrote a document stating cease and desist, stop, leave me alone. And then he kept doing it and then she said, we can take extra steps. We can take extra steps. The whole disfellowshipping thing, that should be voluntary. If you are disfellowshipped, that ought to be because you believe in that religion and you are okay with allowing them to do that, right? When people have freedom of religion, that's what they're talking about, that you, this is voluntary. Once it's not voluntary, it's not okay. This is, this is the whole problem with Jehovah's Witnesses. 90% of what they do is not voluntary. We don't want them to be doing it and they do it anyway. So if a, 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 religious group or organization or anybody just decides that they're going to be having meetings about you and reading your names off to groups of people in order to do damage to you and you don't want to be a part of it and you've expressed that you don't, you put it in writing so that you can prove it in court, you told them, I'm not, I don't call me an apostate, you can put that in the writing. <laughs> Don't refer to me as an apostate. Don't this, that, and the other. And you can easily prove in court through all the broadcasts and all the things that Jehovah's Witnesses have written that the word apostate for them is loaded language. It don't just mean somebody that left the religion to them. To them, it's something that would do extreme, extreme damage to a person if they're called an apostate, it will defamation, extreme defamation to a person. They got a hundred years worth. It, come on, it's easy to prove in court. They got a hundred years worth of articles showing what they think an apostate is. So if you tell them, don't use that word in regards to me, keep in mind, Alex Jones was just, proved, just, just sued, and they do. The lawsuit should be in effect. It shouldn't be no, oh, the person who got up on stage and did it is my relative. Jehovah's Witnesses don't care if you're their relative. They'll shun you. They'll treat you any old kind of way. The whole concept of shunning, one of the things that it does is puts people in dangerous situations because they don't have a social network. So that something bad will happen to them. Like they don't care about you. So if a person gets up on a stage and reads your name off, whoever does it to them for, they they going to be going to the meetings and they ain't going to have no more suits because they're going to be selling them to pay you. Don't be nice to the person that's reading your name off. What if Watchtower says, well, hey, you can't sue us, uh, which is not true. But let's say Watchtower says, hey, you can't sue us. You'd have to sue the person, the people that did it at that specific congregation. Sue that congregation. Oh, but my friends are there. They're not your friends. That's a cult. That's not your friend. They wouldn't be trying to shun you and all this other stuff and you definitely. Don't be too nice to get rich. Right. If there is a, a, a legal system in where there are certain things people can't do to you, don't allow them to do it anyway. So I think that we need to set the stage with this precedent where uh, exit, you know, not, not, not exit letters, so to speak, but Letters of disassociation should include that precedent. 
Y'all don't come after me either. I'm leaving. Remove my name from your stuff and don't come after me. I don't hear nothing about no apostate. I don't hear nothing about no announcements being made. Don't say anything that's going to be used as defamation against me. Should be in the letter so that you can come and collect your check when they try and use defamation against you. This is what we should do. I was going to do a live about this. We, we can still do one. Uh, you guys did not remind me to charge my equipment. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that we'll, we'll do the live about this so that we can continue to talk about it. Uh, but there's other reasons why you can sue Jehovah's Witnesses because they do so many things that's basically just against human rights. But I'm specifically talking about Alex Jones because if somebody can do less than Jehovah's Witnesses do and get sued, then my land. The, 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 the whole problem of Watchtower taking your time and, and, and your energy and, and, and now you're 50 and you don't have a college education and, and, and you don't have the savings and, and that's, this should be all be solved, right? Because all y'all got lawsuits because Watchtower has been doing things that are technically not legal. Defamation. They've been using defamation to, to keep their cult functioning this long. The cult shouldn't even be here if it wasn't that people are afraid to leave it because if they leave it, you know what's going to happen. Watchtower's going to go after you. By going after you, they just use this defamation, this weapon that they've developed over 100 years. That weapon's not legal no more. According to the precedent set in Austin, Texas in court, According to the precedent set in, in the, 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 the lovely Austin, Texas, the state that's like less than an hour from me right now, I can go down to, to Austin and, and kiss the ground over there. You know what I mean? Or, or, or I'm, I'm going to go shake somebody's hand in Austin, Texas. You guys are doing a good job there, right? I don't know if 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 the judge who made that ruling, I don't know if they accept gifts, uh, a box of of you know uh, Doritos or, or something to that effect. Like I don't I don't know how to 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 thank them, but they they're doing a good job in the legal system there from that aspect in in Austin, Texas there, right? Because you can't use defamation on a wide scale <laughs> against people. You can believe what you want to believe, but you can't broadcast this to people that this person is such and such or such and such. Right? And Watchtower has already done it. They've, they've built up the, the, the defamation and, and they've got it in the vault and they just take it out and they use it against whoever. When they announce the name, we all know what that means. We all know why they do it. It is to cause damage to your name so that you can't just leave and walk away without them doing something to scare other people away from doing it also. It's a doomsday cult that falsely predicted the end of the world. It shouldn't even be here now. The only reason it's here is because it scares people away from leaving. It uses defamation as a weapon. If they don't have that weapon anymore, according to the courts, if they don't have that weapon anymore, everybody wants to leave, can leave. There's no reason the cult can exist. So let's not be the ones holding Watchtower together by refusing to sue. I'm going to look into it, right? Let's not be the ones that, that, that are holding it together because we want to be nice to Watchtower. We want to be nice to people and we don't want to sue them when they're doing stuff illegal. 937-789-4029. Hey, if Watchtower uses defamation, which is the, their entire culture, so yes, they do. If they use it against you, 
Or if you think that you, if you want to leave and you think they might use it, put that in writing, record it so you got proof, take pictures so you got proof, hand it to them, tell them you want out and, and, and don't use no defamation at all. Don't speak about me at all. I'm leaving. They get up on that stage and say anything. Collect your check, right? Thank them. Thanks for the lawsuit money. You know what I mean? Collect your check. 937-789-4029. I'd like to hear, you know, if a person thinks that you tell them don't use defamation and they use it again anyway, you think you can't sue them for that? Comment down below. X-Wall Kill Bethlehem signing out.